Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm putting together some meal prep for this week and I'm gonna make meatloaf. I'm gonna take two pounds of ground beef. I'm gonna spray my broiler pan so that the grease drips down and doesn't cool around the meat. And I'm gonna mix up, let's see, two pounds of ground beef. You can use ground turkey if you would prefer. I'm gonna put in two eggs. I roasted some garlic, so I'm gonna put a roasted clove of garlic in my meatloaf today. Give it some nice Labor. Okay. Now to this, I'm gonna add a cup of ketchup. You can use tomato sauce if you'd like. I'm gonna eyeball that. I'm gonna add a dash of Worcestershire sauce to mine. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and some thyme and some basil. And then some crackers. About a teaspoon of thyme. I'm gonna add a little bit of minced onion. And then I've got one bag of Funyuns that I'm gonna put in there too. With my crackers. That'll add some nice flavor. Had a few of these club crackers left over. Don't wanna waste them. And then a sleeve of saltine crackers. You can use breadcrumbs. Okay, and before I forget it, I'm gonna mince up some fresh basil. I'm gonna put that in. Grab a knife. have oregano, you can add oregano as well. Meatloaf's one of those recipes you can really add whatever spices you like or your family like. Okay, in goes the basil. I'm gonna bake this for 45 minutes to an hour on 400 until it's very brown. I'm just gonna mix this with my hands. It smells wonderful. I'm gonna have meatloaf and pinto beans, twice baked potato, and maybe some cream corn. And we'll eat on this at least three meals this week. I think this is gonna need a little more ketchup. Yeah, that's more like it. Want to run your hands through it, get it all mixed up. Just keep squeezing that meat. Now I'm going to make two loaves. I'm 
form them out. Now I've sprayed the top of this pan. Like so. And you can use, you know, peppers, onions, whatever it is that your family likes. My family's not much into big chunks of onion or pepper. And you know, the nice thing about meatloaf, after you eat it for a meal and then it's left over, you can make a meatloaf sandwich that are great. They go a long way and just endless um, versatility with that. Let me get my hands a rinse. You know, it makes the work week go so, go so much smoother if I meal prep before the week starts. Meatloaf going in the oven 45 minutes to an hour until it is completely brown. The whole health house will smell like meatloaf. Cooking, cutting it, keeping it real. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do some salmon as well. See ya.